Last night, a grand jury out of Ferguson, Missouri, decided not to indict a police officer for shooting and killing an unarmed teenager. Since August, the country has watched protests erupt in Ferguson, Missouri, over the death of Michael Brown, the black teenager who was unarmed when he was shot and killed by white police officer Darren Wilson. And today, in the state of Alabama, one local city urges its residents to respond with social consciousness and seek solutions that call for dialogue between local communities and law enforcement. The city of Anniston hosted a press conference with community stakeholders today at Anniston City Hall. Members of the Anniston City Council, the Anniston Police Department, representatives from the district attorney's office, members of the SCLC, the NAACP, local ministers, and representative from the Anniston Citizens Advisory Committee gathered to discuss the relevance last night's decision from the grand jury in Ferguson, Missouri, has for the city of Anniston. The press conference began with a prayer calling for wisdom and understanding. Help each of us and enable each of us to keep our vision on a city not made by hands, mm -hmm. but eternally in the heavens. And evermore, help us to live our lives each day in such a way that we would be destined to have eternal life. Ward 3 Anniston City Councilman Sayron Salasi says Anniston is a diverse city and it will require cooperation for the community to remain vibrant and safe. He says we must look beyond feelings of outrage and start building trust. We must not ever succumb to the senseless violence of protesters with self-serving agendas that often destroy our communities instead of defending them. Let your voice be heard through the vote, through mentoring, and through loving thy neighbor as thyself. Anderson Mayor Vaughn Stewart encouraged the city to dialogue about how to productively address community concerns regarding the Ferguson decision. It begins with transparency. You have to build those relationships. All communities will face storms. The goal of a, of a vibrant community, a community that is truly a community of one, are those communities that get ahead of the storm and they plan during the, during the calm days before the storm. Ward 2 Anniston City Councilman David Reddick mentioned that race is still an issue in our region. He added that he hopes this incident will help motivate people to become free from injustice. Ferguson is, is an example. Ferguson is an example of, of something fundamentally wrong in this country and in, in, in this society. Amen. We live in the kind of society where we, the value of a black man's life isn't as important as the value of a white man's life. We live in a country where we are still plagued by the curse of Willie Lynch. Anniston leaders encourage partnership, calling for people to work together to help each other understand the sad and disappointing images that are being reported. The police department needs a community to have the freedom to be exercise their civil rights, to be able to move around. Whether I agree or disagree with the uh, Ferguson verdict last night, it does not matter. The law has spoken uh, at this time, but it is another law that is greater than the law that's spoken Amen. the other night, and that's the Lord's law. Locally, uh, my purpose for being here is to warn the public of those uh, who will use the St. Louis County Grand Jury's decision as uh, ammunition to uh, further their own divisive agendas. I advise uh, the community uh, not to take up the causes of these people. The NAACP has a petition to urge the Department of Justice to complete their federal criminal civil rights investigation into Michael Brown's slaying.